The Freelander has so far been a great success story for Land Rover ever since it was introduced a year ago. But whilst most people go on about attractive packaging and value for money, it was a particular piece of technology of almost anorak proportions that stood out for me. It's called HDC, or Hill Descent Control, and I've come to Rover to find out exactly what it means and how it works. Typically, we're bringing sort of 80% of our customers into Freelander have never had four-wheel drive experience before. And key part of the project was to take the skill out of off-roading so that, you know, anybody coming new to Land Rover could uh, get on and use the capability. So how different is it to our normal experience of off-roading with low ratio gears? OK, well, the best thing I can do is actually start with uh, a conventional product. Uh, take Range Rover, for instance, and show you what's underneath. Excellent. Right, so what have we got here? OK, well, this is underneath of a Range Rover, which is uh, one of our main product lines at Land Rover. And it, the drive line here is laid out in a fairly conventional four-wheel drive fashion. We're starting up here with the, with the engine, but it runs along the length of the vehicle, what we call north-south, which is all up under here. Underneath this cover here is the transmission, the main gearbox. Mm -hmm. And on the back of it, is the unit that we're talking about today, which is the transfer box. Right, now remind us what that does. Okay, the transfer box takes the drive out of the gearbox, which is the thing that gives you your one, two, three, four, five normal uh, gear, gear ratios, puts it into here. First thing it does is split it to put the drive to the front axle and the drive to the rear, which gives you your four wheel drive. The second thing it does is generate two sets of ratios. So you've got a set of high gears for on road use and a set of low gears for off-road use. Now this is a piece of known and very successful technology, so what's wrong with it? Why was this not good enough or right for the Freelander? Well, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it, it's perfect application for uh, Range Rover's needs. When we researched uh, typical customers for Freelander, a very new vehicle, and 80% of customers coming into Freelander have had no four-wheel drive experience before. So we did some very thorough research which showed that customers wanted all the necessary four-wheel drive technology we could offer and all the benefits that go with that safety, security, ability to go anywhere, mm -hmm. but they didn't want the complicated controls. OK, well, remember what you've seen underneath here, and let's step over to the Freelander and see what the difference is. OK. Ah, quite a difference. Mm, well, it... but there's very little here. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's a different application in terms of technology for a very different sort of customer. As I've described to you, we're looking for very simple uh -huh. um, four-wheel drive controls, and that's what this vehicle offers. Um, first of all, very different in that the engine is placed like a front-wheel drive car. It's across the vehicle, what we call east-west. And the gearbox is mounted on the side, and off the back of that is the equivalent of the transfer case. We call it the intermediate reduction drive, and that's basically it does the same job of splitting the drive, in which case now it goes to the front wheels directly, like a front wheel drive car, and it splits the drive down the prop shaft here to the rear. Oh, I see. So that does the same job as the transfer case. That's right. Well, it, what it does do is reduces the overall ratios. It takes a five-speed gearbox and drops the overall ratios down slightly. So we have what's called a fairly short first gear. It's a fairly low first gear, but it doesn't have, like in Range Rover, the dual range. It doesn't have a high range and a low range. It has a single range transmission. So what were the sort of problems you had to overcome with the intermediate reduction drive? Well, the intermediate reduction drive gave us great gradeability off-road uh, in terms of going up slopes. Uh, when we first built our early prototypes, which were Maestro vans, hmm. with all of the running gear underneath that you've just seen underneath the vehicle, we took them up to do some serious off-road work and found that it actually exceeded our expectation in terms of being able to go up slopes. The problem we found then is for if people want to do some very serious off-roading, was the ability to offer them something to come down the slope under control, which is what the dual range transmission, the transfer case, gives you. It's this unit here, which is called the ABS modulator, and that's the thing that provides the control descent. Well, having built our first prototypes and tried them, it was clearly a good system, we wanted something good. Um, but then we felt we could add some extra dimensions and impart some of the knowledge that we've gained in off-road driving within Land Rover 
to the software controlling the unit. And let me pick an example. If you're going down a slope and uh, nine kilometers an hour is fine, but if you come across some broken ground, it's probably appropriate to go a little bit slower. So we have the ability to pick up the, the, sense, uh, the sensing of broken ground through the wheel speed sensors into the control unit. It goes, ah, right, we're going over rough ground now because of the change of acceleration. And then that will then check the ABS modulator to slow the vehicle down to about seven kilometers an hour just giving that little bit of extra control.